Hi guys, it's Marty Dread here from letsbuildwp.com and in this video we're going to cover how to set up a WordPress post grid in a matter of minutes. This means we can have our blog posts appear in a nice grid layout instead of the standard list view. And this doesn't have to be just for our main blog page either. We can create as many of these grids as we like and add them to any of the pages or posts on our site. We can also choose which of our pages and posts show up in these grids using things like categories and tags, the post author, or we can even filter them by keyword. Then if that wasn't already cool enough, we can set up our grids in a bunch of different styles. So we can show just the featured images and nothing else if we like, which will work great for a portfolio. Or we can show more information like the title and excerpt. We can also choose how many posts show up in each row and basically customize these grids in any way we might possibly need. Then they're also 100% mobile friendly, which means they're going to look amazing no matter what size device they're being viewed on. So if this all sounds good to you, this is how to set up WordPress post grids for free. <laughs> Okay, so to add a post grid on WordPress, we're going to be using a free plugin called Content Views. But just quickly before that, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button for more WordPress tutorials like this one in future. Then to install the plugin, we're going to hover over where it says Plugins in our left dashboard menu and then click Add New. Now we can type the words Content Views into the search bar in the top right. And then we're going to install and activate the plugin by CVSoft. Then once it's active, we can hover over where it now says Content Views in our left dashboard menu and then click Add New. Then the first thing we're going to do here is give our grid a title and I'm going to call mine Grid 1. And the title isn't going to show up anywhere, it's just for our own reference. Then under this we can choose if we're wanting to use posts or pages for this grid and I'm going to choose posts in this example. Then under this we can choose to include or exclude specific posts or pages by pasting their IDs into one of these boxes. And if you're not sure how to find the IDs, I'll leave a link in the description below to another video that'll show you where to find them. Then in this last box we can choose how many posts we want in our new grid and I'm going to set this to 9. Now under advanced options, we're just going to check these 5 boxes to show the different options for our grid. You can obviously just check the ones you're wanting to use, but I'm going to check all 5 in this example to show you what each of them does. So in the first box, we can choose to filter by categories, tags or both. And for this, I'm going to choose categories, but the steps for both of them are exactly the same. Then we can click into this box and choose any of our categories we want and for this I'm going to choose all of my categories apart from uncategorized. And then using this drop down option underneath, we can choose whether we want to include or exclude the categories we just selected. Then under this in the next box, we can choose to sort our posts by publish date or we can sort them by ID, title or the date they were last modified. And then we can set the order to either ascending or descending. Then under where it says filter by author, we can choose to include or exclude posts by specific authors. But as I only have one user on this site, I'm going to skip over this myself. Then I honestly don't know why it gives this option to filter by status. But here we just want to make sure it says published in this box. And then the last option here at the bottom is where we can filter our grid by keywords. And as we can see, it says it will search for the keyword in the title, excerpt and content of our posts. So if you want to filter by keyword, you can just type your keyword into this box and the plugin will take care of the rest. Then once we're done with these options, we can click save in the bottom right. Then once it's saved, we're going to click into the next tab, which is display settings. And this is where we can change what our grid's going to look like. So here under layout, we can choose between a grid, a collapsible list or a scrollable list. I'm going to keep it as grid here in this example, but you can come back and experiment with these options later once you know how it's done. 
Then under this we can choose how many items we want in each row of our grid and I'm going to set this to 3. Then under where it says responsive, we can set a different number for people viewing on a tablet or mobile phone. Then in the next section we can choose if we want our thumbnail images and text to appear above and below each other or side by side. Then under field settings we can choose what information we're wanting to appear in our grid and for this I'm going to choose to show the thumbnails and the titles. But we also have an option to show the content and meta info as well if we like. Then when we check these boxes it's going to open up a few extra options underneath. So here we can change the HTML tag which is basically the text size of our post titles. And I'm just going to leave this as H4 myself. Then under this we can choose our thumbnail size and we can choose between thumbnail, medium, large or full size. And as we can see here it says if we notice that our thumbnail images look blurry in our grid we just need to check this box to fix it. Then under this we have pagination which basically means we can have different pages to our grid. So we can have a set number of posts in our grid and then there will be a next page button underneath. Then finally we can choose if we'd like to have the posts in our grid open up in a new tab and if we want to turn this option on we just need to check this box to enable it. And then once we're finished with these options we can click the save button in the bottom right. Then you might have noticed this green update preview button on the right as well and if we click this we can see a live preview of our grid before we publish it. Then if we don't like our grid we just need to change it. But once we're happy with how our grid looks and we've saved it we just need to copy the text from this green box at the top which is known as the grid's shortcode. Then once we have it copied we can visit the page or post we're wanting to add our grid to and then click edit at the top to open up the editor. Or we can create a new page or post if we don't already have one. And now we just need to paste our grids shortcode into our page and then we can either click update or publish. And now when we visit the page we'll see that our grid is now live and active on our site. And just remember that we can create as many of these grids as we like so we're not limited to just the one. I really hope you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a like here on YouTube to show your support and also feel free to leave me a comment underneath letting me know what you're going to be using the grid layout for. Then finally be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and then click the bell icon to stay up to date with any new tutorials as soon as they're released. Once again my name's Marty Dredd from letsbuildwp.com and thank you very much for watching my video.